talking about clubs and going out, <clears throat> there seems to be a little bit of a naivete creeping in with people regarding this idea of COVID vaccine passports. Um, of course, no one wants to have a COVID vaccine passport. It's a flipping horrendous idea. Um, you know, you open the door to, you know, some very draconian invasions of privacy uh, laws coming in, you know, surveillance, you know, um 24 hour surveillance of every single movement you do justify justified because they want to stop the spread of a pandemic quote unquote so it obviously does open the door to many messy things but i think if there's a real from what we've seen so far and from what i've read it's very interesting it's very it was very surprising to me very illuminating just how interconnected we actually are in europe and how dependent most european countries are to affluent let's say the more affluent countries coming over to their country in order to summer right you look at places in the mediterranean for instance places in central europe um you look at the croatias the bulgarians the hungries a lot of their tourism basically props up their entire economy right and that tourism coming from you know neighboring countries and also countries such as myself where i'm based in, in england and um we depend uh, a lot of those governments um gdps could depend or those nations dgps depend a lot on that tourism coming in so without it they're pretty much handicapped right in terms of providing services and you know things for their actual citizens to enjoy um and for them to have like a really prosperous life in any way shape or form um you know the tourism economy too i'd imagine employs a huge majority of people in some of the more less affluent places across europe so there is a real need across the board right from governments here governments abroad to just get things back open up again because that's the only way people are legitimately going to be able to survive and put food on the table and whatever maybe and of course it kind of takes away the responsibility from the government for providing those things for the country because it's then going to cause a deficit in the spending that they have bloody blah, blah 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 so it seems like it's inevitable it does seem like with everything pointing the way it's pointing you know with us living in a capitalist society i just don't see any other route apart from this thing being the thing and again I'm sure the UK government are going to be very clever and be like, hey, we're not the ones stipulating you have to have a COVID vaccine passport. It's the countries you want to go to. So if you actually have wanderlust and you really want to go on a holiday and you're gagging to go on the beach, you really want to get a tan, you really want to sit somewhere and just, you know, order flipping pina coladas, you know, you want to have some fried calamari um, on some open seating outside of a Madrid cafe somewhere. You really want to be out there. You really want to be traveling. Well, this is what you're going to have to give up, right? You're going to have to give up some of your civil liberties, some of your privacy, um, some of your data, um, some of your medical information that you probably would, ne would have never shared prior. You wouldn't have been bad. And you, wouldn't, you wouldn't have even considered sharing it prior to this. This is going to be one of those things. Um, but I don't know how comfortable I am with it. I have to be honest. I would much rather live in a world where everyone just gets vaccinated um however long that takes people just you know uh travel inland you know there's plenty of places that you can go here in the uk of course none as good as places like barcelona lisbon porto flipping you know even uh zagreb right i'm sure we don't have as many great places such as that but there's definitely locations that you can go to where you can have um, some semblance of a holiday and then once everyone's been vaccinated and the world reopens and it's a bit more you know the climate is changed and you can enjoy yourself a little bit more without having to give up some of your privacy and information and maybe it will be a better option to go abroad but i don't know i'm not too sure but this is a report here for the sun that basically speaks a little bit on it let's play the clip here and uh, let me know what you think the european union is preparing a vaccine passport scheme which would allow british tourists to enter europe this summer in a move which will bring joy to millions of holidaymakers, the European Commission will propose legislation for a digital green pass allowing for nations to open their borders later this year. For Brits looking to travel abroad over the summer, um, it looks increasingly likely that some form of vaccine passport or digital health app is going to be an absolute necessity. Um, now, it might not be that you have to have been vaccinated. What the EU are looking at is um, some form of digital health pass that stores all of your information. So that could be a vaccine certificate, but also a negative COVID test or um, a notification that you've had COVID recently and therefore have got immunity built up through antibodies. Um, so there's not just one particular vaccine and that's it. Brussels plans to have a scheme in place for the end of June, which could mean Brits who have been vaccinated will be able to freely travel to European countries as either tourists or for work. 
The digital passports will also include data regarding your latest coronavirus test results and your level of antibodies for the virus. This means you may not have to have a vaccine to enter Europe if, for example, you can prove you have built up immunity via antibodies and have tested negative before travelling. The UK has confirmed it is working with international partners on vaccine passport schemes, which will likely be introduced by nations around the world as borders begin to reopen. Spanish officials have said if the EU scheme cannot be agreed, they will look to negotiate bilateral agreements with countries such as the UK to open up the Spanish tourism industry in time for the summer. Stephen Edgington, The Sun. Like I said, man, slippery, slippery slope, innit? Um, again, I think... Probably the most sensible option would just be to like wait for everyone to get vaccinated. I guess if I was giving anyone advice, it would be just to wait till everyone gets vaccinated and go from there. But I get it, man. People have been indoors for ages. People are, if you're, again, if you're willing to do so, then I don't see an issue with it. It's just more so if it kind of gets demanded of you. Um, that's where it sort of comes to get, it gets a little bit tricky for me, where you're sort of like, you know, legally obliged. You have to carry this thing. You have to go and give up your information. You have to allow the government to basically analyze your medical details, gather whatever they want to gather. And again, in the future, what's stopping them from doing far more draconian things such as this? So I don't know, man. I'm not too sure how comfortable I am with stuff like this, but, you know, I guess this is a situation in the life we're living in at the moment, considering all things and where it's currently pointing.